Well, hello there, friends, and welcome back to Dimension Hunter VR. I am, as always, playing on my Oculus Rift by way of Steam VR. So, yeah, we uh, we hopped into this one yesterday with the intent to polish it off, but wouldn't you know it, that final boss was a little tougher than I had anticipated, was much tougher than anything else in the game, and as time went on, I thought that maybe it would be a good idea to cut it into two. So here we are back again the next day and we're going to make another run at this thing and see if we can knock this game out once and for all so that we can get on to the next one. Here's a fun fact. You see this floating brain with the one eyeball, this uh, floating cyclops that always is here in the menu? This is actually the lady that talks to me through the uh, through the entire game. This is who I'm taking my orders from. So what does that say about me, huh? All right, let's get in here. I want to kill this thing. You guys aren't going to believe this thing, by the way. This last boss is a uh, is a Goliath, a behemoth, a um, a titan. All right, so mission 11, three minutes to the end. That is false advertising, friends. It takes three minutes to get to the end. That's the worst thing about it is every time that this boss kills you, there's this miniature stage that you have to go through every time, time and again, to get back to it. There's no uh, save point right before the final boss like every other boss in the game. You make it to the boss, you get killed, you start right back at the boss. Not here. Got to play through the whole level every time you die. So yeah, that had a lot to do with why I uh, cut the video short yesterday. It was just taking too long. All right, everything is as it should be. Let's give it another shot. This is it, the final stretch. The gates the are closed. Final now we just have to get out of here before the Ulysses completely falls apart. All right, so I'm gonna use a little strategy here. So basically the whole point of this stage here is getting through it, taking as little damage as possible because this boss battle is epic. Um, a key thing here with this stage is knowing when to use your alternative weapon. Whoa. Oh, that guy got me, sure. I think he did. The well, power seems to be intact though, so maybe not. New weapon activated. And we got, I think this is that bomb gun. And it is the bomb. Got our good friend here, Daryl. Daryl the Barrel. Like that. Reloading, reloading. All right, so we're not even going to play around with the guys in this room here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the flamethrower and go ham on these dudes. Well, I didn't even know I had to off. Wasted on those guys. So far, so good. Reloading. Reloading. Health restored. Health restored. Man, I wish it would give me all this health yesterday. It would have made a real difference. Weapon ready. 
Alt weapon is ready. Good deal. I know exactly where I'm going to use it to. Not here on these two bags. Whoa. Crap, I killed Daryl. Daryl, no! Whoa. Head movement. Head movement. Alright. Another wave coming right now. Ooh, head movement. Reloading. Well, what kind of weapon do we have here? New weapon active. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Precisely what I need. Let these guys come in here and stage. Fire off their shots or whatever. And we're gonna go. Bam. Oh no! What a waste. Daryl, come here. Only one? Shenanigans. Give me another one. There we go, that's how it's done. Crap. Accidentally hit the time warp. Oh, hell's yes. Man, if this thing was this generous with the power-ups yesterday, this thing would have been no problem. And off it goes into the ether. Reloading. Oh, we got some dudes here. Reloading. Off he goes. Alright, now, so we need to get Daryl, first of all. And we need to wait on our alt weapon to come back, because... Oh, shit! I forgot about these guys. Headshot. Time shift ready. So, if the strategy that's in my head is going to be the correct one, this time shift and the alt weapon are crucial. Knowing when to use them is a big deal. Oh, okay, guys, it's time for the big reveal. Who is the boss? Who is responsible? for all of this madness we've been going through. Oh, not now. We Wait so for close. it. Wait for it. You guessed it. It's Danzig. Evil Glenn Danzig. I'm finally free. Mother, tell your children not to play this game. Prepare to die. Welcome to die. Your bullets cannot hurt me, stupid ass. Hadouken! Alright. Crap. Headshot! Headshot! Alright, now we have to grab these and throw them in there. I don't know what that does. But it does something. And then he fires off these skulls, which you can duck. And then back again we go. And we have to hit the time thing, switch over, and just start headshotting this fool. Like crazy. Reloading. When it gets close, we switch. 
Take them out just like that. And then we fire off our balls and back again. And then Hadouken. Well, we need to buy some time here. And then switch. Balls. And in there. Alright. Here comes this shit. We duck it. And. Weapon ready. Time shift ready. Time shift. Switch back. Start blasting this dude. In the chest. is intact. Health restored. My dinosaur is done. Grab the balls, throw them in there, and then we got two complete ones. Reloading! Reloading! Duck! Flaming skulls get me. Headshot. Headshot. We have these little dudes. Grab the flaming balls. Like so. Duck. I think I have my time shift and my alt weapon he isn't walking away at my from disposal. That. Duck. Where'd the sound go? Some more of these guys? He isn't walking away. That's going to work. Headshot. Did we get him? No. How did we do that on the first try? I this guy killed me five times last night. And I say how, I know exactly how. No. Oh shit, what's happening? Where'd all the sound go? Is this what it does or is this a glitch? Because there should be lots of noise here. Campaign completed. Well, wow. holy shit, I, th I blew that thing up to be uh, some kind of massive challenge and it turned out to be easy. I know what it was that was killing me repeatedly yesterday. Um, that second boss, the, the, the tall guy that was shooting the bullets at me, he is uh, immune to headshots. The only enemy in this entire game that was immune to headshots. And like an idiot, I kept trying to shoot him in the head. The last time I played through last night, I realized that he was vulnerable in his midsection. But by that point I was done and uh, he shot me and I went to bed. 
and then uh, so here we come back the next day and on the very first try I run through it that's why sometimes you just need to take a break guys something seems tough at first just uh, knock it out and come back Do we have access to a menu here do I have to watch this okay thank goodness I hate being forced to watch credits Astrobot Rescue Mission was the only game that uh, I actually enjoyed the credits, I think, ever. And that's just because they made it fun. It wasn't just watching. Okay, enough already. I see your black ball. Your space rift. Come on now. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Alright, so there we have it. Danzig has been defeated and sent back to be the headman for the misfits for the rest of his days. So what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that it was a pretty standard rail shooter. I mean, it was it was right out of the rail shooter handbook. I mean, we had free locomotion, but the stages were set up like a rail shooter. Um, the gameplay was identical in every stage uh, up until the boss fight, which had a little bit of um, difficulty I guess until I figured out what to do and then it was pretty easy um, but the stages the gameplay were was identical uh, the the, uh, the enemies and environments had a different skin pulled over them uh, in, in every level but it was the same gameplay just a bunch of guys running at you you shoot them in the head and go on um, that being said the skin that they pulled over the enemies and the levels and environments that was the strong point of the game that they took every page out of the badass handbook and made a level for it there was aliens there was dinosaurs and cyborgs and and zombies and werewolves and demons just everything everything you would want except for vampires there were no vampires but everything else everything else was there so kudos on that uh, I could have done without the red and gray everything looks really good I really enjoy the comic book art that's the strong point of the game actually is the the comic book art style beautiful the art style the diversity in uh, visuals with the different kinds of characters and environments that was a strong point of the game the gameplay was basic it wasn't bad um, everything uh, worked pretty well you know the guns were cool the weapons were cool um, you know the movement thank God I wasn't on rails that would have been tough on rails and, and not half as fun um, but the game as good as it looked could look a whole lot better if it wasn't under uh, a Walmart party bulb and everything looking red and gray why, why does it have to be like that it seems like uh, a cheap attempt to uh, cover up some flaws you know what I mean it's a lot easier to hide things when you're dealing with a two-tone environment three whatever but uh, all in all a solid game it's worth the eight to ten dollars that you can get it for for sure it's worth one playthrough I probably will never come back to it uh, but it was fun uh, I enjoyed the the art like I said uh, it makes me want to try wanted killer VR which has a similar art style but uh, what did you think leave a, a, a comment down below and if you've made it through this entire thing with me I, I give you my most sincere appreciation thank you so much for sitting through this thing and um, yeah it's great we're done with it and uh, we're going to continue right on this week with our house cleaning. Uh, we've got some more titles that we have started that we need to knock out so that we can move on to some more awesomeness. So once again, thank you for watching. 
if you like what you see here you know what to do give me those three clicks down there like subscribe and don't forget that notification bell i will see you tomorrow with another game thanks see you later